All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Control X, go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can attack cover four quarters and cover four palms type defenses when your opponent's zone is set to default. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Uh, when you're on defense, you have in your coaching adjustments this zone coverage um, setting down here at the bottom. You can either have it on match or default. Okay, if you have it on match, you're gonna have certain plays that have matching responsibilities, and it's gonna play a different way than if you have it on default. What you'll see a lot of people do is they'll run cover four quarters, but they'll run this on default. So it's really gonna play more like a spot drop um, or cover four drop type defense. So uh, these tips that I'm talking about here uh, in this video are gonna work against cover four drop or cover four quarters or palms if the zone coverage is set to default. Okay, if they have match coverage, it's gonna be a whole different set of rules that we'll talk about in a later video. So again, what we're gonna be facing here is cover four quarters. And we're gonna have a few setups out of two by two sets, and then we're gonna talk about one out of a trip set as well, uh, if you like to run that style of a, uh, offense also. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, and it's gonna seem silly, but these are gonna be very, very basic, but very, very effective route combinations that work in real life as well against cover four defenses. Okay, so first we're gonna just gonna come out in a slant flat, okay, or a flat slant, uh, whatever you wanna call it, slant shoot. Uh, and what we're gonna have here is if you end a two by two set like this, you're gonna wanna put both slot receivers on flat routes, okay? And then the outside receivers on slants. So it's gonna look something like this. And all we're doing with this uh, route combination is we're stressing the underneath defenders. Okay, so if you see here, in a cover four defense, they're gonna have three underneath defenders most of the time, they're gonna have four deep defenders, okay? If they're doing this, then obviously we wanna flood underneath. Right? We don't want to send our receivers deep because that's where they have the most coverage. We want to stress the underneath defenders. Okay, so in this first one, again, we're just running a simple slant shoot or slant flat combination to each side, and we're going to read where the user goes. Okay, so if that user there is in the middle of the field, if he runs right, we'll throw left. If he goes left, we'll throw right. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like here. If he's going right there, we can just throw this left, turn it upfield, uh, and get an easy 10 plus yards on that play. Right, and the reason being is these deep defenders here, right? These outside corners and safeties, they're gonna back off and they're not going to react to this underneath stuff until the ball is thrown, okay? So again, what we're doing here is we're running four underneath routes with only three underneath defenders. So we're taking away the flat defenders with these flat routes, right? So you see that flat defender chase that flat route there. And if you look to the right side here, the flat defender chases the flat route there. So now it just leaves this user, okay? And like I said, if the user runs right, we're gonna throw it behind him to the left, okay? Now I'll show you if the user would run left, how we're gonna throw it right back to the right, okay? So again, same concept, uh, just a flat and a slant. If we see that user go to the left, we're now waiting on our slant on the right side of the field. And again, a nice, easy uh, 10 plus yard pickup. If you can make a man miss, you can go even further down the field. Now, the second one we're gonna talk about is a stick concept. Okay, so what a stick concept is, if you look to the right side of the field, it's this little hitch, right? That hitch to the slot receiver, and you want to couple it with a flat route too, okay? Now, obviously on the right side of the field here, we have three receiving options. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a fade, we're going to have a hitch, and we're going to have that running back to the flat, okay? A way that you can kind of simulate this to a two receiver side, so if you look to the left, is if we run hitch to the inside guy, and if we ran a quick out route to the outside guy. Okay, and what we're doing here with this concept is the same exact thing we were just doing uh, in the last concept, right? We're stressing the underneath defenders. We have four underneath routes with our running back, two hitches, and the out route, and they only have three underneath defenders, so we are winning the numbers game there. Okay, so if you see, if we say hike, we're going to read that user. He goes to the right. We can dump this off quickly for a nice five-yard gain, and what you can see actually is if we go to replay, we can hit either receiver on this, to be honest. The quarter flat does not do a very good job of covering either the out or the hitch, right? So we could throw this on the sideline uh, and possession catch that for a nice easy five to seven yard gain. And then you can also throw this to the inside shoulder of your hitch. And this is gonna be a nice easy five plus yard gain as well. Uh, because again, that quarter flat or that flat defender is kind of playing in no man's land. And he doesn't really do a good job of covering either of these routes here to the two receiver side. Okay, now obviously if the user is running over here, they will be able to possibly guard this side, which again is why we're going from or away from where the user is running. 
Now, if the user is getting used to us going back to that left side over and over, then we can attack the right side with this play, right? So if you see here, this is the setup. If that user drops to the left immediately, now we want to attack with the hitch and the flat to the right side, okay? So again, it's really just a cat and mouse game with that user, understanding where he's going, and then we're just gonna flood the underneath zones uh, from that point, okay? So if you look here, again, we see that user go left, so now our eyes are immediately gonna go right, and we're reading this flat defender, or this quarter flat here, and you see he doesn't do a very good job of covering either of these routes either, right? We can throw this quick hitch to the tight end, turn up field and get ourselves five to 10 yards. Uh, and if we wanted to, we could also throw to this running back here in the flat because this guy's getting way too deep on his zone, right? So you see here, we have both options available. Um, sometimes your opponent may shade down or man up one of them, which will open up the other even more. But you can see here, just in this base stock defense, you're gonna be able to throw both with this stick concept, okay? Now, the next one we're gonna talk about is going to be a little bit deeper down the field. Okay, and this is going to be in a two by two set as well. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be running um, curl routes from the inside receivers and comebacks from the outside. Okay, and what I like on my running back personally is a check and release hook. Okay, so something like that where he's going to run right up the middle um, and sit down. Okay, that's just my outlet pass. That's my last resort here on this play. But what you're going to see is you're really going to want to read one of the two sides of the field. Okay, and what we're going to do is if you look at the quarter flat there, right? So let's look at the left side of the screen, that purple zone. If he stays to the inside and helps cover that curl, then we can throw the comeback. If he widens out with the comeback, we can throw the curl. Okay, so if we run this, I'll show you what I mean. All right, so he widens out and we can now just dump this right in. And it's a very similar concept to the stick uh, route combination we just talked about. It's just a little bit deeper down the field. Right? We're just, again, stressing this defender. Right? So you see here, he widens out, uh, which opens up this interior passing lane. Right? And what you'll see is actually, they don't do a very good job of covering either route in this situation either. So uh, if you do run this, again, to the left side here, uh, you actually a lot of times can still throw this on the sideline. Uh, it is a more dangerous throw. I would just recommend throwing to the inside. Um, Again, it's an easy throw to the inside. You don't have to worry about an interception, right? So as soon as we see that guy widen out, I'm going to want to throw it right here to this guy, right? This inside curl, easy throw, uh, 10 plus yards down the field. But if this guy would, for some reason, man up on the interior guy, you now have this guy faking the deep route and now coming back and these cover four zones will not cover it uh, close enough. So you're going to be able to just throw this right in there. Okay, now the reason that I like the running back on his route with this setup is let's say they uh, man up this guy and um, we don't get the read we want, right? So uh, let's say they go cover uh, that route to the left and we just get a little nervous to throw the comeback, right? Again, you can run this to both sides, so you do have the option to do that. But let's say they take away that at first and we're not comfortable with it. Now no one's in the middle of the field and we can just dump this off for a quick, easy game. Okay, so this is obviously gonna be our check down on the play if we don't like what we see down the field. Uh, but like I said, if this user for some reason bails to the route we were looking at and we get nervous, just know you always have this little outlet sitting over the middle now. And if the user vacates the middle, obviously this is gonna be a wide open area of the field. We're gonna be able to get nice, easy yardage um, with a really simplistic pass, again, to a check down to our running back. Okay, so again, that's another option we have here. And again, obviously you are able to throw it to the right on this play as well, right? So if you are in this uh, play here and again, they are uh, running cover four, but the user's dropping to the uh, left, we now have this curl route to the inside to the tight end. So again, very, very simplistic concept, but very effective against cover four. And the last thing that we will talk about here against cover four is in a trips type set. Okay, and all we need to do in a trip type set is isolate, or I guess identify where this linebacker quarter flat is, right? So a lot of times if they're in a nickel set, they're gonna have a linebacker quarter flat and they're gonna have a nickel quarter flat, okay? We wanna identify where the um, linebacker one is and if they're playing with auto flip on, it's always gonna be away from the trips. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna move over one of these receivers. I like to do the middle receiver. And what you'll see is that quarter flat doesn't widen out with him. So we can just throw a quick out route 
uh, to that receiver every single time. Okay, it's going to be open every single time for an easy five to ten yard gain, uh, and it's going to be very effective for you. Okay, one other thing I do want to mention here is if we are going against um, cover four and we are in a trip set and they're pressing, I do want to change it a little bit. Uh, and the reason being is I just want to make that more of a delayed out route. So let's say they are pressing here and I don't know what that outside corner is doing. What we're going to do here is we're going to put that outside uh, guy on a whip now. Okay, so it's just delayed to make sure that that outside corner is pushed back. And you'll see here, we can see him push back now. And that inside linebacker still not going to be able to get enough enough width there to cover that quick out route um, to that receiver, right? So you see here, if it is uh, pressed, I do like to go to a whip. And at this point, you can see this interior quarter flat still does not get wide enough to cover this. And this is, again, a nice, easy five to ten yard gain. So, again, there are ways to beat cover four uh, default coverage and cover four drop deep and over the top as well. But I think the easiest way to beat it is just attacking it underneath because we're really able to flood uh, a very minimum amount of zones with more route combinations underneath. If you've made it to the end of this video, odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord where Madden pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.